For this construction, we're going to construct an angle bisector. The first step is to open up your compass to some size, which is very convenient for you to work with, not too big, not too small. And like a copy angle construction, the first thing we're going to do is make an arc which crosses both sides of the angle. For the next step, you can change the size of your compass if you want. I don't really think there's a need to. If you've made a size of the compass which is convenient for you, then why would you change what size? Once you have your compass set, you're going to start from the first intersection point, and we're going to make an arc which crosses where you know the angle bisector is going to be. You know the angle bisector is roughly going to come down the middle of this angle, so you need to make an arc which crosses where you know that angle bisector is going to be. Without changing the size of your compass, you're going to come to the other intersection point from our first arc. We're going to put the point of the compass there, and we're going to make an arc that intersects that first one. What do you suppose that intersection point is good for? That is where our angle bisector goes. So put your straight edge down, and there we have made an angle bisector.